In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him and nothing was created except through Him. The Word gave life to everything that was created and His life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. What goes through your mind when you think about Christmas? Is it getting the Christmas tree out and the decorations? Is it buying presents, watching your budget? Is it spending the hours in the kitchen baking and decorating and preparing? Does your anxiety level rise with getting your home ready for visitors and for family? Or do you wonder if you will find gifts under the tree with your name on it? It's not about the presents under the tree, is it? Although if truth be told, it is always nice and exciting. Being given a gift and unwrapping it, whether you want to rip the paper or whether you want to do it just nice and gently, it brings a deep sense of pleasure and the feeling of being loved, of being adored. Now the Magi brought gifts to the Babe of Light and they were there because they wanted to worship the Messiah, the King of the Jews, to adore him. And we sing that carol, O come, let us adore him. There weren't any Christmas trees or flashing lights or tinsel or any decorations then. It was just the light of a star that guided them. I love the lights on a Christmas tree. The more the merrier, blinking, flashing, steady or running. And I love the lights that light up the street with brilliant colour that you find in cities all over the world. It makes everything look so magical. And have you seen on the movies or in pictures of some of the houses in America how extravagantly they have decorated the fronts of their homes and have themes of Christmas in their gardens? I love the lights. I love the light. The light that shines in the darkness, that the darkness can never extinguish. Most, most children enjoy the comfort of having a night light in their bedroom. Maybe there are a few of you who like to have some sort of light on at night, in case you have to get up two or three times in the middle of the night. Light drives away the darkness of fear and anxiety and uncertainty. The primary purpose of light is to dispel the darkness in any creatures that a child's or an adult's imagination might conjure up. And the darker the night, the brighter the light seems. We have been making our spiritual pilgrimage through this year's Advent season in preparation for celebrating the birth of Jesus. We hear the Christmas story told over and over again each year, but it's a story that never grows old, it never grows tired. For me, listening to the story always brings excitement and joy to me. The excitement of the shepherds the wonder of Mary when this angel appears to her. The, the Magi traveling for years, for two years, to come and bear gifts to Jesus. The angels singing. I find that so, so wonderful. But Christmas, with its carols, with its lights, the promise of hope and of joy and of peace for the year to come. I love Christmas even though it can be very exhausting. 
This season may be joyful, fulfilling and rewarding, or it may be lonely, disappointing and agonizing for you, or a mixture of all of these. But in spite of it all, Emmanuel, God with us, God is with us amidst all the challenges and opportunities, the successes and the failures, the fellowship and the loneliness, the achievements and disappointments, the riches and the poverty, the sickness and the health of life. God's presence makes all the difference in us. When the angel Gabriel first went to visit Mary, he greeted her with these words, Rejoice, favoured one, the Lord is with you. And I cannot think of a better way of saying to you today, as we have already begun a new calendar year within the Christian calendar, with this affirmation, the Lord is with you. And I want to encourage you to remember the nature and the power of the one who is with you always. God's nature is one of consistent and unlimited love. God's power is unlimited and makes the best better and the worst tolerable. You may have heard or remember these words being spoken at some time in church or elsewhere where a person would say, God is good, and the people would respond, all the time. And then the person would say, all the time, and the people would respond, God is good. The fact that life is not always good does not mean that God is not good. Some, some may have the mistaken idea that in order to, to sense God's presence and to fully worship and to serve God, life must be perfect. But the truth is just the opposite. Whether in times of rejoicing or times of sorrow, I want you to hold on to that truth that the Lord is truly with us to guard us, to guide us, to strengthen us, to encourage us, and to empower us to know and to do God's will and to be faithful witnesses. It is in the dark times of our lives that the light that John speaks of, the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, that light shines the brightest. So although Christmas is sung about the most wonderful time of the year, we are aware that for many it isn't really because of the missed opportunities, maybe a strain in the relationship, uh, the death of a loved one, the loss of a job, ill health, or just sheer poverty. We can't heal the world of its lost hope, but we can start by letting the light within us all shine for others to see. Because amongst all of the sadness of this world, the wickedness of this world, and also the gladness, there is hope, there is joy, there is peace, and there is love, all given to us from God the Father through his Son, Jesus, who became a flesh and blood baby and grew into a man who showed us the way, the truth, and the life. So may you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, and the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and yours, now and forevermore.